Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bees. I'm a ski bee man here. This is for the intermediate series of guys wanting to enlarge their apiary size by splits and this, that, and the other. We're going to do a bunch of splits this year. It's April 9th. A little bit of breeze, cloudy, 42 degrees. Not a very good day to install packages. In fact, I like to sugar water them, spray them down so they don't fly, but that's not an option this cold. We're going to I'm only going to show one install on in the package, but I'm going to show the, what the systems we're going to run. This is just a standard five frame nuke box. We've got the entrance reduced on it. Uh, we've got uh, two frames of honey, one on each side, two drawed combs, and then we've got a, a starter strip in the middle. This is the one I'm going to show the install on. We're going to do that, and that's a five frame deep box. Then we're, I'm going to put a package also in a five frame medium box. Same setup as that, but just, just a different box. And then one we're going to experiment with this year. This is uh, my idea. I'm thinking that it's going to be a very productive type box for doing splits and increasing your hive. It's a, it's a five frame deep box, standard size, but here's the, here is the bottom board. We, I modified the bottom board. This is uh, three quarter inch rails going down like that. Two entrances on it. And it's got a hole here because you got two entrances, you can't slope your box. So if water gets in here, it's got to drain out the bottom. So we've got that on this box here, and then we got a divider that'll divide them into two. But for the package install, we'll leave the divider out, install our package in there, let them build up, come back, pull a frame out of the center, put the divider strip in there. Whichever side doesn't have a queen, we'll give her a queen cell, and that's your split. It's an automatic split right here. The bees want to drift. That's their box. The ones that's been coming out the front entrance still come in the front entrance, which would be this side here. The ones coming in the, the other entrance right here will be on this side. You just got to split. All you got to do is pull a frame out of there, move it to another one of these boxes, and make you split with it, and drop that in there. We're going to see how that does. And this box is modified or I modified it. It's got a feeder system here where I can remove one side, work one bees with the divider in and not get into the other. This box feeder has a shim goes over it like that. Three inch shim and a standard five frame lid. And if I want to feed the bees you just come in here and you and you feed the bees uh, on the high top feeders. I know you guys are going to ask where you get them feeders. You don't. You can't get these feeders. You have to make your own. Uh, these, I, uh, some buddies of mine, we designed them and 3D printed them. But that's the system. We're only going to show the one installed down there because it's cold. I got a lot of packages to put in, and uh, you guys are intermediate. You don't need to see in package installs. Okay, we're back. Uh, like I say, it's cold. It's 42 degrees today, cloudy, a little bit of breeze. Not a very good day to spawn packages, but we don't have any choice. We're not going to spray them. And I'm going to put a veil on today just because they're going to be in the air and I, I don't want to get stung in the face. They're not going to be happy campers. So, first thing we've got to do. Pry this board off here. Get that all off. Get your can started up out of here. Sometimes it's hard to get these daggone cans out. You can turn them upside down. I may do that. Turn it upside down and get a hold of it. 
Okay, got a hold of the can. Now we're going to bump the bees down and get our queen out. Ah, dropped the can. Cover the hole back up. Keep the bees in there. See, got stung already. It's going to happen. Say it's not a good day to be installing packages, but we ain't got any choice. Get your queen off of there. Look at your queen, make sure she's alive. She is. Good, nice looking queen. Now you, you got a cork in both ends. You want to take the cork out of the candy end, not the other end. She'll fly off on you. She'll be gone. So I, I carry a, a pin on my coat. Fry the cork out of the candy end. And this is a little trick from Barnyard for a cold weather install. I've not used it, but we're going to try it. We're going to take a zip tie on this starter strip frame. We're going to put that queen right down here. Now she's in place and they can't get out of there. We're going to put her in here like this. I'm going to put a shaker box on. Right, before we do that, pollen patty. got to have pollen patty. These bees, they've got two frames of honey in here, but they don't have any, any pollen. We're going to put a box in here. Like that to shake bees on. Get rid of this honey can. Now, I'm going to leave this shaker box on there while so the bees migrate down in, but typically um, I don't do that. But today it's cold, I want to get most of the bees in there. Bounce them down again. Shake them in there. Just shake the bees in. Mm -hmm. Like I say, the reason I'm doing this is just because it's cold. Leave the shaker box on there. on there. Put the lid on. We've got our feeder here. Open the sugar water can up. Fill the feeder up. Put the lid on, like later I'll come back and get that shaker box. They'll all be down, migrated down on the comb around the queen. Set this box. There's still a few bees in it. I'll set this box out here right now. I may set that box down inside the shaker box after the bees move down out of the way to let these finish migrating out of there. Don't know. We'll see what happens here. See how? Let me look at them. See how fast they're going down. No, they're not going down yet. Got to be inside my veil. You'll have that. But that's all there is to the package install. Uh, 
we, I'm going to install the other th two in them uh, middle, middle or medium frames and that special box. So we can kind of just, this will be our main focus this year. The other ones we're just going to kind of keep track of here, there, and yonder and see how you guys like it. If you like the channel and the videos, so hit the subscribe button. Make sure you click on the bell to the side of the subscribe button to uh, get notifications. Uh, Skinny Bee Man here, have a great bee season. This is an amendment to the video you just seen. I was down at barnyards and he he puts he showed me putting that uh, water tight in this quick <coughs> excuse me <coughs> queens to the bottom bar <coughs> for cold weather install and I thought I would try it. <coughs> After I made that video, I come out last night and uh, um, looked in the entrance and to see how well he was covering the queens. I didn't feel like there was enough bees on the queens to be safe, so I'm amending the first video and do it like I always do. I use a inch and a half, two inch shim, lay it on top of the your bars, take the queen and pull the cork out of the candy in and just lay her face up right on top there. Done that hundreds and hundreds of times. I know this works. Thanks for watching. Skinny B Man here.